Well, good Monday to y'all. It's Dan. Lord of mercy, I want to welcome y'all to my home in the sticks. I hope everybody's having a showing of good Monday. Start to a new week. But I'm here to tell y'all, it is warm as all get out over here. And it looks like it wants to show enough come a flood again. But what I wanted to share with you and y'all today is, I'm thinking we need to get some pawpaw seeds started. So give me a second, and that's what we finna do. <laughs> All right, y'all, right quickly, let's talk about the pawpaw tree, Asamina triloba. Uh, the common names for this, this tree, which is native to North America, is a false banana, custard banana, or a hillbilly mango. That's, that's what the common names are for it. And there's probably a bunch of other names for it as well. The pawpaw belongs to the same plant family as the custard apple, uh, cherimoya, the sweet sop and the sour sop. So it, it's, it's included in that family. Now, from what I understand, and I've never tried one personally myself, but pawpaws have a custard-like flavor, similar to a banana, mango, and possibly cantaloupe. So I have no idea, but I'm really looking forward to trying one, you know, in the next, I don't know, six, seven years. I don't know, however long it takes to grow, I'm sure enough, sure enough, um, ready to try it. All right, you and y'all, here we go. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna try to get these pawpaw seeds into two containers. I'm gonna do this two different kinds of ways. Been doing uh, a little bit of research on the pawpaws, and let me show you. What I have here is a 12 inch pot, and this right here is a piece of four inch thin wall sewer pipe, about 18 inches long. And I have a four inch cap that I cut some holes in, well I drilled some holes in. Now the thinking behind this one right here is a pawpaw tree has a really long tap root once it starts growing. If you look around on YouTube and a few other places, a lot of folks are really unsuccessful transplanting a pawpaw tree. And the reason being, through my research and from what I understand is, the pawpaw has a root system that does not like to be disturbed. Uh, once it's there, it wants to stay there. And if you go to digging it up and trying to transplant it someplace else, you stay in a chance of damaging them roots. The pawpaw tree will grow for a couple of weeks, maybe a month or so, and then it'll die back because of the root system. These pawpaw seeds in this bag, and we're gonna pull them out here in a second, have already been through the process of stratification, cold stratification. And all that is is just a fancy name saying that these seeds been in the refrigerator for four or five months. The plan is to crowd this pot with some, some pawpaw seeds. And I've already done one of these on a trial and error thing, and I'll show you that. But the thinking, my thinking on this is, once these guys get to growing in here, I can easily transplant them into this container right here. If I get this guy transplanted into a long vessel such as this, or a long container, them tap roots will have 18 inches to get that grow on. I've seen folks use like uh, tree stalk cups or uh, tree cups or something like that. They're little long black things that they long kind of like this. Don't know if it's 18 inches long, but you know, that's what other folks have been using. But this is what I had on hand, so I'm going to use it. So let's get these pawpaw seeds out and let's get some showing up pot and soil put into this thing. So see if we can get our grow on with the pawpaws. Here we go, y'all. I apologize again for the light because it does look like it wants to start raining. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this pot up with some good potting soil. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna add in some perlite because these pawpaws are something that drains well. So certainly want, certainly want the soil to be able to drain real well. Because what we don't want to do is we don't want the seed to sit in, in the soil and actually rot because it's so wet and the soil's not, not uh, draining well. I'm adding some, some perlite into the mix. Okay, you and y'all, that's what the soil is looking like. It is a showing sure off light, fluffy mix, and I believe it's going to have good drainage with this perlite that's in there. So let's take a look at these pawpaw seeds. These pawpaw seeds came from Bobby 
over at um, Mississippi Gulf Coast Gardeners Channel. He sent me these. Now let's see how many we actually have in here. There's one. That's what a pawpaw seed looks like. Looks like a, a big kidney bean, maybe. Ended up with eight pawpaw seeds plus the one that I already have in the uh, four inch tube. So that's gonna be nine pawpaw seeds. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna plant these guys pretty tight in this container right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna plant these guys about one inch deep. And one inch on me is up to this first joint in my finger right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna put one seed per hole. Don't believe there's an orientation, maybe, but we're just gonna see. We're gonna loosely cover these guys up. Last thing I'll do is I will water these guys in. Let me show you. That's what it's looking like. So Dan, why are you doing it this way? I don't know, this is kind of like an experimente. I've read several articles and watched several videos on folks that are trying to germinate pawpaw seeds and they have done it in the, uh, the tree tubes. Me, I'm just using stuff that I have on hand. The concept is the same, it's just a, a, it's a four inch pipe which in my opinion, logically, it, it seems like it would work. So we're gonna roll with it like that. As far as all of those pawpaw seeds that I planted in that 12 inch planter, yes, they crowded, but that's okay. Cause once they start growing, I could actually take the soil, dump the soil, dump the whole thing out and carefully uh, just pull the pawpaws out of the soil and transplant them into something else, probably nine more of those four inch pvc pipes let's go over to my shack and i'm going to show you the other what I, I done did already it is right there i have one pawpaw seed planted directly in the middle of this four inch sewer pipe and you can see the, the cap down there and i have it sitting between uh two cinder blocks because of the wind i don't want it to dump over but that's what it's looking like all I've been doing is just giving this guy some water every now and then. Uh, don't want to overwater it. Pawsees just don't like, they like to be moist, just not sopping wet. So that's, that's what we're doing. And this, this is just an experiment. I have never grown uh, pawpaw trees before. So I'm just going by a lot of research and watching a lot of videos just to see how folks are doing it. So there you have it, y'all. Trying to get these dang pawpaw seeds germinated. Maybe growing into some, make sure I ain't standing in the red ant pile. Get them growing into some, uh, some pawpaw trees. You know, pawpaw trees are understory trees. And from what I understand, these guys, for the first one to two, possibly three years, these guys want to stay in some shade. So I'm going to have to figure out, you know, try to figure out the logistics behind that, where I'm going to put them. But hey, it's just a learning thing, and we're gonna see. But hopefully if these guys take off, we sure enough gonna get some pawpaws. I'm looking forward to that. If you like this video, go on and give it a thumbs up. They help. If you haven't subscribed to the Home and Sticks channel, Lord of mercy, y'all need to come on over here, give me a look. Cause I'm always doing stuff, really. With that being said, you know it's coming. Oh damn reference showing up, always gonna say it. Don't let nobody dull your shine. I mean nobody, you get your shine on. I guarantee you it's that dang important. And we will see you and y'all in the next video.